Hey everyone, Chris here with the Colorado Avalanche Information Center. We're here in the North San Juan on the east aspect, roughly about 11,300 feet. What we're finding is just sort of an ugly snowpack structure. About a meter deep, we have four finger large grain facets that are sitting under about a meter thick, relatively cohesive and hard slab. During last week's warm weather, the upper snowpack settled, consolidated, and this made it more difficult for riders to impact weak layers buried this deep. In the last couple days, we've been getting snow and wind, and our concern is that as this upper slab gets stiffened from the wind, triggering a slide in the upper snowpack, propagates wide, travels far, could be enough to create a failure deeper in the snowpack in one of our persistent weak layers. So now we've climbed a few hundred feet higher from our snow pit along the same ridge, slightly more northeast aspect, and we came across this really big avalanche. It appears to have run natural sometime around the end of January, first few days of February, and it failed across two separate slide paths behind me that ran down through the trees to the creek. This slide failed on the same weak sugary facets that we are observing propagating failures in our extensive column test. Between test results, natural activity, more wind loading, stressing weak snow below, a stiff slab, stepping out into steeper terrain increases the odds of being involved in a rather large avalanche like this, which if you were, it'd be hard to survive.